Hunter Biden's laptop was discovered at a repair shop. There was a ton of compromise on it, a ton of evidence of a whole slew of crimes, personal crimes, sexual crimes, financial crimes. And this was blacked out. You wouldn't hear about it in the mainstream media. You weren't allowed to post about it on social media. You weren't allowed to privately message it on social media. And now, how many days has it been? It's now, it's been 532 days since that story broke, since that story was denied by the establishment media. Now, 532 days later, CNN is admitting, okay, it was real. So there's a lot of issues that the, the Justice Department has looked into, including, of course, uh, this laptop that uh, on the right wing has, has featured a lot of, a lot of stories about, about Hunter Biden. We know the FBI has possession of it and that they believe it is his laptop, that the contents of it are his. Thank you, CNN. Thank you for telling us 532 days later what we've all known from the beginning. Namely, that the laptop is obviously real. It's full of a ton of photos of Hunter Biden. It's got all his photos, all of these. Frankly, the emails are more damning than the photos because it shows extraordinary political corruption, financial crimes, not just from Hunter, but implicating the whole Biden family. And yet, when the story broke, we were told that this was disinformation, Russian propaganda and disinformation. Here's an article, article in Breitbart. 15 media personalities who immediately came out and said this was a total lie. MSNBC executive producer Kyle Griffin uh, said, uh, this is not censorship. Facebook is under no obligation to allow a disputed report that appears to contain disinformation to spread on their platform. So the executive producer at MSNBC said, oh, it's really good in the weeks before this presidential election that we're censoring damaging content about one of the candidates. The publisher of Inc., said basically the same thing. No serious journalist should fall for this disinformation. Wajahat Ali at the Daily Beast. This is Russian disinformation meant to harm our democracy. Shouldn't be given platforms. Uh, Trutherfiction.com, Brooke Binkowski. Uh, it's, it's easy to see who's committed to pushing known Kremlin disinformation. It's known. She, not even that she didn't know if it was accurate or not. She knew for a fact it was disinformation. NBC News did the same thing. They're, they're hacked materials. It's part of a disinformation campaign. Ben Rhodes at MSNBC, it's disinformation. Washington Post's Max Boot, he's a fake Republican who, he's a Democrat, but he pretends to be a Republican at the Washington Post. He said, the right to spread false Russian disinformation about American political leaders on social media is not the hill I would choose to die on. So he's, he's making the affirmative claim. This is false. The, 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 Laptop, the hard drive, it's false. It's not real. The list goes on and on. I, we don't have time to go through all of them. And they were completely wrong. They were, at the, at the very least, they were completely wrong. Probably they were lying. And now 532 days later, after Biden's been in office for more than a year, now we can admit absolutely it's true. I'm glad you like that clip. Now you got to subscribe, ring the bell, get all the notifications. Head on over to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, wherever you get your audio podcasts. Subscribe to The Michael Knowles Show. Leave a five-star review. We'll see you next time.